Stage 3 features of an orbit of a geostationary satellite. If you forgot what a geostationary e satellite means, just remember geo refers to kind of like Earth. Stationary means not moving. Law. Huh? Satellite is not moving. Not moving with respect to Earth. In other words, if you look at this diagram, the satellite is right on top of, what is this country? You can see Latin America, looks like Mexico or something. But the Earth is turning, so is the satellite orbiting the Earth at the exact same angular frequency. So the satellite is always pointing at the same location on the planet, geostationary. And this is at the equator. Lah. So at the equator, you're kind of doing this orbit because you can only do this at the equator. So feature number one, we're going to talk about the equator, this orbit uh, this geostationary orbit must be at the equator. So we'll say this, uh, the orbit, features of the orbit. So this is above the equator. If you're wondering why it must be equator, ah, you go and think back lah, your circular motion chapter. How to, what to, Fc equals to mv square over r. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to draw a circular orbit pointing to the center of the Earth. So you can only do that if you're at the equator. And you want to go geostationary. Uh, other features that we can include is that the talk about the orbit period. If you always want to point at the same, uh, same place on Earth, then your orbit period must also be 24 hours like the Earth's rotation. So this is following Earth rotation. What other features do we have? Uh? Mm, ah, direction. If your Earth is turning a certain way, your satellite must also orbit in that same direction. So we can say that the orbit must be from west to east. Go back to the animation if you want to stare at it again. Lah. West to east. Okay. Earth turn west to east, so we also orbit west to east. If you get any, any tree correct, that's just B3 mark straight away for you. If you memorize the facts of what is a geostationary orbit. Now let's do some attenuation calculation. I got a, I mean, I screenshot the same picture here. Now we are transmitting signals from Earth to a geostationary satellite. It's actually very far away. Geostationary orbit is quite far away because you need to fit a lot of satellites there also, right? Initially, the signal, oh, who is from Earth? Oh, from Earth, okay. Initially, the signal is 32 kilowatts. That is pretty big. Ah, I mean, let's label it. So there's some tower on Earth. Earth to space, talking to Earth to space. This is power of 3.2 kilowatt. Transmit, transmit, transmit the signal attenuated. So it's a decrease, right? So maybe we should put a negative to remind ourselves that this is negative 194 dB. You decrease. Your power has decreased by several times. Calculate the signal power received by the satellite. Now you're comparing two places, remember? You're comparing signal at Earth surface or wherever to whatever signal is measured at the satellite. So another P up there. The formula you want to use is your attenuation signal. So the ratio, remember? dB is ratio, ratio is dB. So ratio in dB equals to your attenuation formula will be 10 log 10. Sometimes people just write LG to short form also can. Lah. So anyway, log 10, ah, P received by the satellite over P1. Why is P1? From Earth. Okay, so this is P Earth. Transmitter lah. You transmit from Earth. And you reach the satellite after negative 194 dB. Let's plug in our value. So this is negative 194. You must include negative. If not, your number will be wrong. So a decrease if you're going from Earth to space. 10 log 10 P, which are trying to find over the power at Earth, which is 3.2 kilowatt. How to deal with log armies? Okay, if you don't take meds or you forgot how to do log, stay calm. Here we go. So first thing first, we want to clear this 10, make sure only log is on that side. So we divide everything by 10, we get negative 19.4 equals to log 10 of everything inside the bracket. P over 3.2 times 10. Now, if you want to undo the log, first thing you want to do is check the base. Base 10, right? Okay, so we write there 10 to the power of everything on the other side. Okay, so 19.4, we write there 10 to the power of 19.4. 
That's the nature of how locks work. Like. If you got time, you go ask your friend how to lock, why lock, and borrow their maths textbook to do some questions. Sure, go ahead. Okay, then we equal to whatever is inside the bracket. So this will be P over 3.2 times 10 to the 3. Ah, so that's how you can open up the log to find what's the P. If you press calculator, you will get a value of P equals to... No space to write it. I just write the answer line. 1.274 times 10. Negative 16. Wow, that's a lot of power loss. You start off with 3.2 kilowatt. Now you end up with negative 6, 10 to the power of negative 16 watt. Wow. You see the amount of signal loss we have here? Uh, you can write this out as uh, 2SF, I think. Most of the answers here are 2, 3SF. 2, 3SF is fine. So you can do 1.27, 1.3. Also, no problem. 2 marks. 1 mark goes to you knowing how to use or substitute into your ratio attenuation equation, the decibel attenuation equation, and lastly, for your final answer. Okay, remember, you send, you start here, you end here, okay, what's your power? And you take a ratio. Remember, uh, dB is ratio, ratio is dB. Keep that in mind. Let's keep going. Suggest an advantage and disadvantage of using geostationary. Okay, so pros and cons of geostationary. Compared to who? Compared with polar orbiting satellite. Oh, what's polar again? Hmm, as we mentioned in the previous video, polar, well, the difference between polar and geostationary is polar is you go around the poles or north pole to south pole, up and down, up and down, up and down. Whereas geostationary is at the equator, round and round, round and round, round and round. So what's the benefit? Ah? Number one, the nice thing about geostationary is if you look up in the sky, that satellite is always there because it is following you. It is stalking you. That is stationary. That's advantage. Ah. So if you are putting some kind of aerial parabolic dish, you just point it at the satellite, it will always be pointing in the correct direction. Okay? Beep, 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 beep. Or the other way. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Same. It's always there. So the first one is you don't need tracking. You don't need to figure out where is the satellite. So it does not need tracking you can just fix your aerial pointer in the same position in the sky the satellite is always there to help tell you where you are and if you want to explain a little bit more it does not need tracking well sure why not since the satellite is uh, how to spell oh is always in the same position in the sky or oh, almost the same uh. in same position in the sky Next, disadvantage. So what's bad about this geostationary in comparison to polar? Well, this diagram that I draw down here is a little bit inaccurate. Polar radius is actually much, much, much smaller compared to geostationary. So maybe it's something like this. Polar. Whereas geostationary, the orbit radius is actually very big. So it actually is very far away. So maybe something like that. And if the, the radius is very big, it takes a long time or a longer time to go from the satellite to your aerial, wherever that is. And so there is more lag. So we can say that this one has a longer time delay. Because it's related to larger orbit radius. It's defined now, okay? There's actually a whole ton of stuff up there spinning around us and... If people don't regulate properly, all these satellites are going to crash into each other. So they have to regulate. Lah. Okay, high orbit. Uh, all these geostationary can only fly at roughly this radius. What is the radius? Somewhere here. Radius. Fix it. Lah. You guys can stay there. Polar, you guys stay at this level so you don't collide with those. Then go other type of spy satellite. Lah. What? Uh -huh. You guys have this radius. You guys have this radius. Please don't collide with each other. So everyone is just orbiting, 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 orbiting. And, but they won't collide with each other. And two marks here, if you manage to mention pro and con, so this is B1 and this is B1. So that's all for this question relating satellites from our previous subtopic and as well as introducing the idea of ratio calculation and dB. Okay, so that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.